here to talk about sort of advice for healthy living, which you become a real expert in. And I'm curious, how did you get into sort of the fitness business to begin with? Because I understand you were kind of a scrawny kid. <laughs> I was. I was. Uh, it's funny because I come from the opposite end of the spectrum. I, I work with the super obese, but when I was growing up, I was the tiniest kid in school. I, I remember when I was 14 years old, my parents picked up on the fact that, that I was really having a tough time. I, I'd actually moved schools. So I was the new kid in school. I was the tiniest kid in school. I was the one that, that didn't make the football team. And um, I came home from school one day, and, and all of our li living room furniture was just totally cleared out, and there was a weight set sitting right, right there in the middle of the floor. And I found myself getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And within like a month, month and a half, I looked in the mirror and that was the epiphany. I was 14 years old and I looked in the mirror and it's just after about a month and a half of lifting weights and I saw my body changing. And that was it. Well, clearly you're such a, a, a terrific motivator, but when you look at America and you see the obesity epidemic is out of control, what are the numbers? I mean, I think it's one third of people in this country are considered obese. So what do you think is behind this epidemic? Why are we so heavy? If we really want to get down to the nitty gritty of it, our food has changed more in the last 50 years than it has in the last 5,000. So all of a sudden, I mean, the, the, the different food combinations that we're giving our body these days, our body is not made for that. Our body is made for real whole natural foods and all of a sudden now everything's processed. Everything's loaded with salt and sugar, you know, high fructose corn syrup and preservatives and artificial sweeteners. And we're literally bombarding our body with this chemical cocktail and the results speak for themselves. I mean, our bodies, are, they're rejecting it and we're getting extremely unhealthy. We're becoming obese. I was thinking about trying to not eat any processed food for a week and I realized actually just as I go through my day and what I eat, on, I mean, you know, it, that actually rules out so many things, Chris. I was thinking I can't eat the cereal I eat in the morning. I don't think I can eat actually the bread. I can't even eat the crackers I buy right. because everything is so processed. And if you really start looking at what you're consuming on a daily basis and try to stay away from it, that is really tough. It is. And, and the thing is, we are programmed to consume these foods now. And we, we've conditioned our bodies for it. So it's difficult to try to change those habits and those patterns. So and we've trained our taste buds and our brain chemistry, by the way, to want those things. Yeah.